Let's talk about It Takes Two. Can you just flip everyone off? <laughs> Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Obviously, I'm Andy, and we have Christina back with us again today. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I can't get over that. I'm sorry, it's funny. And we're going to talk about It Takes Two, oh. but backtracking a little bit, because obviously, if you don't know, It Takes Two is obviously a co-op game. Now, this game is designed to be played co-op. You can't play it by yourself. You must play it with somebody else in co-op mode, right? So it come out on PlayStation and other stuff as well. And now it's come over to the Nintendo Switch. But Hazelight Studios, was that Hazelight mm. Studios? They basically made other games previously. So we actually started with their first one, which was called Brothers. We didn't know nothing about like the game, didn't know anything about Very it. Very cute. And we were like, let's let's just play this game. It looked really cool because we were into our like sort of side scrollers and stuff. And we liked those kind of games. We just took a punt on it. And it was like, wow, this is amazing. It's another co-op game. It was so good. Really deep, like quite a heartfelt story. Yeah. You know, it's quite sad, but Very really, really good. And we like left playing that game going like, wow. That was great. And we played that on the mm. Switch. So that was fantastic. And then on the PC, years later, there was A Way Out. Yeah. Which I didn't even realise was the same people. Like, I didn't realise no, it was we the didn't, same studio. We didn't do it on purpose that we were just fanboying. And no. We're like, no, we're, we're just, just going to buy every game yeah. they do. Yeah, no. It, it was, was like, we literally just picked these games and they were like, oh, it's another one from the same studio. Yeah. So... <laughs> It, uh, a way out is you know you play as two convicts like trying to escape prison basically and yeah. then it's you like two helping each other like mm. through the game and again co-op only so we played that and was like wow that was that was really good you know it was the next level up from brothers you but could it was really a bit see... more like darker so it was like it was a whole but, which is really impressive really because most studios kind of do one type of like game do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean yeah, like yeah, yeah. Brothers was really emotional mm. and, you know, a little bit cute. Then you had A Way Out, which was a bit more grimy, a, yeah, bit, a bit more, more adult. adult. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then, so we left playing that and was like, wow. And then that's what made me go, I wonder who made this? Then I found out, oh, it's, you know, the people that made the Brothers game. And then It Takes Two was announced on PS5 and we were like, wow, that that looks really, really cool because it's, and another, you know, game from the studio that we've played the other two games from and loved. So we were super hyped to play that. And well, now we've played through the whole game and completed it. And obviously it's now available on the Switch as well, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. fantastic. So a little confession, we did play this on the PS5. Okay. So oh yeah, we did. We didn't play this on the Switch. We played Dirty. this. We played this before it came out Traitor. on the Switch. However, you know, just talking about the game here itself, mm. it still looks from what I've seen on gameplay on the Switch. Obviously, it's downgraded in terms of graphics and stuff. It's not one of those types of games that I think would be heavily affected you, you though. Yeah, because it's, it's more about the gameplay yeah. and how much fun it is together yeah. to play. However, obviously on the PS5, it is better graphics, but whatever. But on the Switch, I'm pretty sure you can play it split screen on one system. Or if you're like us, where I have an OLED and Christina has a Switch Lite, the other person can download the game for free like from a friend's past of the person that owns the game. So you can play it co-op on a system each. Which, which is, is pretty cool. Amazing. So you could handheld play this. It's not forced in dock mode. You know, you could actually handheld play this together if you've got two switches, which is fantastic. I think that that's really good as well because like in our previous video, we were speaking about how you're always forced either into having a proper, what I call proper co-op game or buying two consoles, two TVs and two versions of the game. And it's like, well, that's really greedy. And this studio have probably missed out on quite a lot of money by going against that grain, really. Yeah. So I commend them for that because they could have they could have yeah, just it's said still, it still has online yeah, co-op so yeah. for people that are like have friends around the world or that like even in the same town or something but maybe live elsewhere you can still do that but for Christina and I that mm. are obviously together and we play as many games as we can together and even single play, player games we play and one of us will just have the controller and the other will watch and then we'll pass it or we'll it, play or, it at the same time or we have the same game like you know like we were mm. we did a previous video about Pokemon and we were saying how with Pokemon Legends we were had to like have a copy of the game each and just sit next to each other and play through it because there's no multiplayer mm. right whereas this game we just need one copy and we can actually local co-op couch co-op is what we call it you know to play that way rather than when it says yeah it's got co-op 
online only. Great. Now I need to buy two consoles, two yeah. TVs, two copies of the game. Why? You know, it's so annoying. But anyway, this is a fantastic series of games and I, I have so much high hope for this studio because every game they're making knocks it out of the park. They're winning more and more awards and rightfully so. Like, It Takes Two... It, it's very good story amazing it really all of is. the stories are really good as well so like the gameplay is amazing I mean in It Takes Two there's so much inventiveness uh, uh, in regards to what you can interact with and the environment yeah. and the world and the whole thing is is really inventive there are some kickbacks to other franchises and other games which yeah, I yeah. noticed I mean I got major like in the outside when you're you know going around the garden and things spoilers um it really reminded me of a bug's life yeah 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 you i know? did get that that vibe huge yeah, yeah. bug's life uh feel indoors when you're around toys and things was mm. a toy story yeah like yeah, yeah. Uh, back on the ps1 and, and even you know? like r reminiscent of like micro machines and stuff mm. like everything because the whole premise of the game is that you're playing as dolls right mm. and these dolls are obviously small so you're in this huge world mm. where everything's massive so like christina mm. said you're in the garden well everything's supersized you yeah. know and bugs are like bigger than you and you ride on spiders and stuff like that it's, it's so cool and yeah. I'm, I always Very loved cool. that growing up as a kid I did like there was all those movies like A Bug's Life Toy Story mm. what was the other one where you had like um, Toy Soldiers Toy Soldiers and then you had the other one with the uh, Gorgonites yeah in I can't what, remember what it's called or is that Toy Soldiers I don't know. I don't but know. There's so many yeah. like other like things Militarized. in the 90s yeah. and stuff where we grew up and, and micro machines and games like that, that I've always loved that like larger than life thing. And in a game, you are like entering a new universe, aren't yeah. you? And I love that. Like I'm running across a desk, you know, like, yeah. you know, and you're like running around. It's, but it's really it's, clever it's as cool. well how they've taken something so jovial and sort of fun but they've also integrated like a massive story and yeah. emotional teaching. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, an emotional journey. It is, but the whole thing is like, there's so much to do in the world. There's so much to look at. You've got, you know, and it's funny because you've got the main mission that you're on, that mm. you're trying to complete, but you've also got side missions and little like, almost like fairground games yeah, 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 that come yeah. into like it. They're like challenges yeah, that appear. That you, you play find... against each other. and. That again is another, it's very clever how they've intertwined the message into the the game mm. because it's like you've got this main mission, which is your main thing. And it's all to do with relationships as well. So it's like you, so you've got your main goal, but you get so immersed in this world together and these little things that you do together just make you go, oh yeah, like that's like life. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah, you yeah. get so, you, you can't keep going. You must do other little things in life, you know? Yeah. Like, and, and you feel like that in this game and it mm. really draws you in. And and it's clever because it's not an open world game. It's completely linear. But it but, makes you feel like you can go anywhere. But there's hidden... Yeah, it does make you feel like yeah. you can go anywhere. But there's also like those hidden areas mm -hmm. where you can Loads miss... secrets. You can miss challenges or secrets like throwbacks to even their other games. There's like mm -hmm. little things about Brothers or A Way Out that are like tucked in there that you yeah. could bypass. But... The the like levels are big enough that if you do like you know what we do, we try and go in every nook and cranny. We try and go where we and shouldn't go, be yeah, going to yeah, find yeah. stuff. And even yeah. we didn't find everything. I yeah, mean, I'm yeah. not saying we're the most, you know, absolutely, you know, completionist people but out there, but we really do hardest, try to find definitely. stuff and there was, within a reasonable amount it, of time. It wasn't so linear that it was like Crash Bandicoot where it was no. like that, you know, no. like it's still a big area for you but to But it's go realistic to. as well, because if mm. you're a doll, you find yourself in areas that aren't overly expansive you know you're not going to find yourself in like Skyrim yeah, you know yeah, where yeah. you're in the middle of a town and you're you know we well, could I suppose but like it's it's less I don't know it, it doesn't make you feel like a doll anymore you just feel like a small thing running around the yeah, world whereas yeah. this was like you know you're in a bedroom or and there's a massive pool pool all yeah, the way around or, or you're you know outside in the garden and you move tree you or... move through sections of the garden because mm. the garden's going to have fences the garden's yeah, yeah. going to have boundaries yeah, yeah. you know or your like garden ponds that you can't cross yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's normal mm. and I think you know it made sense mm. for it to be like that rather yeah, you know and it's obviously easier to develop and than... of course this isn't a spoiler because you know the storyline is you know a, a couple that are going through basically a divorce and they are forced into this situation and i love the way that they've taken that story and then made the gameplay so relevant because 
everything is co-op centric. Mm. It's not like you could... I didn't leave playing this whole game and completing it going... You, that could have been a single player game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you literally cannot and progress without you. And it does test you. you. It actually does you test need you. need someone else. As, yeah. a, as a team player. Even mm. if you don't play it with your significant other, if you don't have a significant other, if you play it with a friend, you'll get... It will be a bit ironic because it is a bit romantic based sometimes. One of you but, put a wig on. But the, the, the message and the lessons you get from it are relevant and depending on the way that you play with each other it actually makes you look at each other's relationship and go actually we're pretty good teammates or oh my god you really annoy me and like you you doing the complete wrong thing here in communication breakdown 101 <laughs> it's one or the other and and it actually does teach you about yourself and yeah, there definitely. are bits in it that actually make you choose stuff as well and yeah. and it really does make it, you think it puts you on the spot it's yeah. not like you have time to think sometimes no. you've got to go you know and then yeah. you're like ah oh! <laughs> you know yeah, you've yeah. got to try and get that yeah. person across whilst there it's all about communication yeah because I've got to spin something whilst you've got to jump before I spin the next thing or yeah. whatever it could be. And that's what I really love And your reactions, about but your yeah. reactions and like, I don't know, you know, some of you out there may have a significant partner and you're lucky enough to be like us where we kind of have that real close bond where we know what we're going to say. We know pretty much how we're going to be, you know? Mm -hmm. And this game really brought that out where we just realised that like a lot of the time we weren't speaking some people might be speaking obviously it's not a competition you know it's it's funny either way whether you mess up or you don't but again it really shows you something about your relationship good or bad um and and it's in a it's in a really wholesome way it's mm. not like oh your relationship is bad so therefore you're bad or you're bad it's like it's all about lessons it's all about the real lesson mm. of relationships which is you need to understand that that person is the way they are for a reason. Yeah, because you've got and Dr. Doing, Hakim. Yeah, and, and doing what they're doing for a reason, you know? Yeah, so you've got Dr. Hakim, which is the uh, the love, love book, book, right? Mm -hmm. And he basically shows you from each perspective that in your own way, you're both right. Yeah. So, you know, you might be annoyed with someone, but... In reality, you know, everyone's valid in their there's own feelings. There's usually a reason unless you'd, you're just doing it on purpose yeah, to be nasty. Yeah, which yeah, yeah. It, hopefully in a relationship you wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it tried to teach them because they become like spiteful and they weren't thinking of Resentful the other person. of each other. They, and, they weren't being like considerate. You and know? They, they drifted apart because mm. their lives took them away. You know, like they, they have a kid and Mommy. two jobs. <laughs> I know, we'll get onto that. <laughs> they have two jobs and stuff. So they've got like loads going on and it's true you do you do get a bit like that yeah if you let like if life you let life get in between swing past yeah. then that's the way and, it is, and but... again going back to what i said earlier you've got the main mission but you've got these side missions and that reflects in the whole message mm, but mm. i going back to what you were saying about the little girl about mommy. Uh, yeah so you've got this girl that kind of talks a bit like that and it's like someone's <laughs> trying to be a kid but they're not. I think they that, that was the one thing in the game. Yeah, like, it was so funny. We haven't funny. got a voice actor for the kid. Yeah, yeah. All right, All right. Jeremy, come yeah. here. <laughs> Hello, mummy. Oh, mummy. <laughs> and I find it really hilarious as well. Like, this is maybe a bit of a spoiler, so just skip forward like 10 seconds. But there's a part where the parents are pretty much out of it in real life. So they're like completely asleep. Well, they're, they're the dolls, right? Yeah. So um, th that's spoiler over. But... Um, she just kind of looks at them and doesn't care. And she just kind of goes, Mummy, I can see you're sleeping. Um, okay, I'm going to go away. Five hours later, Mummy, you're still sleeping. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this. And it's like, what and on it's earth? Like, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Mummy's, oh, oh, yeah, you're there with your eyes open, but no one's home either. Okay, yeah, yeah see you later. Exactly. I'm just going to run away now. Like, exactly. It's like, just what? so random. Like, so we we found that hilarious. It it's not a negative. No. It's actually hilarious. And so, you you <laughs> might not if we hadn't have said that and spoiled it for you, you probably wouldn't have noticed. You would have noticed. It was the first it thing we noticed. Funny, and like the opening scene, and it's like you know, it's got the bloke there, and then the woman, and then it's like, that my baby. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I mean, I suppose it depends if it's regional language for you or not. But in English, yeah, in, in the English, American like dub, funny as hell. Yeah, it is yeah. funny. I really wonder. 
who did the voice because if it is a, look, uh, if it is a kid then we'd be really horrible well you know <laughs> they sound older than they are in yeah. that case they don't sound they're, they're, the age that she is their voice is going to get higher pitch as they get older yeah it sound I'm like an old. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it sounds fake but that is hilarious like it really is but the game itself like every single zone feels fresh and then sometimes you get like an open zone area. So I was saying earlier it was linear, but then some areas like I think one in like each world is like an open like town sort of thing mm. where you're like, okay, I don't really need to do anything here other than mess around. Yeah. And you can go ride a train or throw a pig somewhere or, yeah. you know, it's jump around the like, rooftops uh, or whatever. Those sort of miniature Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like a, towns. Yeah, yeah. Like Almost where... like a snow globe. I think one might even be a snow yeah. globe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's really funny. Um, but talking of things that annoyed me i found the woman really annoying yeah they portrayed her to be they over exaggerated they've over exaggerated on purpose to get the point across of uh, like what you would class as a typical bloke and a typical woman mm. but i found her really annoying i was just like i really can see why he's divorcing her because <laughs> she was so annoying like just everything she yeah, was she picking was, picking picking yeah, really miserable she but they portrayed a good yeah annoying character it was yeah because it was yeah. meant to make it you was go, meant oh, to yeah because you know you had to feel that frustration and, and i think that's that really does sort of again enhance the story and the meaning it because does, you yeah. feel like that yeah you yeah. know when when you're in that situation mm, realistically mm. they might not be that annoying yeah yeah. you yeah, know yeah, so yeah. i think that's where they were going with it is mm. that in the eyes of the opposite person mm. you are that annoying <laughs> you know <laughs> whereas you might not be it might just be like you know one thing you've done or whatever but to that person it does mm. get to that but, point but i must admit like between the bloke and the woman she was more annoying. She like, was she really was. annoying. But, yeah. you know, she was the one that, like, worked and blah, blah, blah. So she... You know, Highly she was, strung. She was trying to take that into consideration. But again, it's good that it takes that sort of each perspective and then makes you try and flip that thinking and see why they're feeling that or why they're being annoying. And yeah. it's just a very good ride. Yes, it like, is. And yeah. everything comes together so well. Yeah. Like, like all the, everything had a reason. All the story, all the gameplay, like it just felt mm. so well-rounded. Like yeah. everything was thought about. Nothing felt slapdash. It's not no. even a very long game, really. And the way that you interacted with the world and the little things... Made it fun Was too. intuitive. Yeah, like, yes. Yeah, and yeah. not only intuitive, but inventive. Mm. Because some of the like mechanics that they used, I haven't really seen in the way that they did it. And again, I won't spoil lots of it, but you'll see what I mean if you play it all the way through. There are bits where you're like, oh, I've never seen that in a game. You know, it might use a similar mechanic, but it's never been that, you know? And it's it, there's some really cool stuff like that. And I think it's because like it's that. so, like their main focus was co-op. Mm. They were like, how can we get two people to interact with whatever yeah. it is and have that work rather than feeling like an afterthought or mm. that it could have been a single player mm. game? Mm. And I think that's how they took those mechanics and really took it to the next level. Yeah, definitely. And because each stage you have like a different item that you can use. Mm. So like there's one where you get magnets or there's one where... Spoilers. It, well, you know, it's I'm not saying what you do with them, but, you know, there's always like a... a a plus and a minus kind of one person has one thing that the other person can't use mm. and that forces you into that team playing like you know yeah. mentality but anyway I really enjoyed this game I really enjoyed I it I think anyone should play it the like, one thing that did annoy me though just before we round yeah, up go on. you cannot move the side that you're on oh no oh, how do I forget to say this <clears throat> this really annoyed me. <laughs> so when we were on the sofa, I sit on the left-hand side, Christina sits on the right-hand side. However, player one is on the right-hand side and player two is on the left-hand side. And it looks like you can do that thing where, you know, like in most games, you've got like the controller floating over here and the controller floating over here for different sides. You normally can do that and move your character one side or another. You can't. No, you can't. They're like stuck on that side. Yeah. So, so we were basically, I, I was looking that way and he was looking that yeah, way at so the other parts of the screen. I think if I played the woman it would have yeah. been fine I think it was like the and woman yes, was dictated and yes you can of course and change seats but it is just annoying no, like it's just where option. you sit you know I sit in my seat right <laughs> give yeah. me the option to flip which side I'm playing on yeah. like any other 
like game, if you're playing multiplayer, pretty sure you Gives could you probably option. change that. So that that was the only negative. And I really had, like, I even stopped the game, didn't I? As soon as we yeah. started, I was like, I can't do this. Yeah. So I went through the settings and I went, oh my, like, are you serious? Mm. And that really, really frustrated me. It was annoying. Like, it was Did so have to get used to it. annoying. We got used to it. And then the game Sounds was... silly. It's so first world problems. But it was <laughs> but like, it, you know. It was something to, to you know, be aware of. Yeah. Like, it was really frustrating. But you won't have that problem if you're playing Switch, I don't think, where you're playing it on each because I think you get the whole screen to yourself for yeah, each that's good. Uh, player. Don't quote me on that. It mm. might still split screen, but I don't think it would because imagine playing on Switch Lite where it's split in the screen. Yeah. That would be so hard. I reckon you get the whole character to yourself Maybe. on the screen. Yeah. But There's then no you wouldn't you see... Wouldn't sometimes you did need to see the other character and what they nah, were doing. You know, no, not really because, again, that inspires Supposed the communication. Supposed to communicate, yeah. But the game <laughs> itself, phenomenal, like really good. Yeah. It's not overly long. It's probably like, 10, 15 hours. I don't Pretty know. well. Um, but it's it's a really fun game. And Wholesome. We, when we finished it, we were like, oh, because we'd finished it. And it know? was easy, really. It wasn't like stupidly easy where you're going to no, be like, no. oh my God, I'm just like going through this, blah, blah, blah. It was, it, there were bits that were difficult, but it was like a good level of difficulty. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. like Mario where you're like, ah, oh, like you just can't <laughs> get past a level, you know, yeah, like no, they, they made it so it's, that it it's was achievable. It, yeah. You, know? you might do a bit a couple of times and, yeah. and then you'll get it. And and I reckon if you're in a, like a relationship or whatever, if you're a couple and your partner's not a big gamer, you then still can play they, they and they'll get it. To play, yeah. You know, because we're both like, there's you know, not, masses of buttons to remember and combinations yeah, or anything yeah. like that is kind of it is kind of intuitive but for the more like more experienced gamers like us you know we're you know we've spent thousands of hours playing games and Christina's i still don't amazing. feel i'm an experienced no. gamer i don't think i ever will okay. <laughs> there's always someone better but than you me can kick most people's uh arceus yes, uh, i can on call of duty arceus. <laughs> so I used um, to yeah no. give me guitar hero any day <laughs> But anyway, we're we're both experienced gamers and I reckon even if you're not or if you're playing with a child, you know, you, you could play this. Yeah. But it is more of an adult story. I don't, would say Yeah, yeah. A kid could play it, but I'd say yeah, it's yeah. more like adults, Definitely. adult friends or partners yeah mm. but anyway that's our sort of ramble about it takes two so let us know if you've played the game down there what you loved about it what you didn't if we missed anything that we might have forgotten about or whatever let us know and make sure you subscribe let us know if you enjoy these types of videos as well and now go and watch this video just here where it's christina and i talking about pokemon and specifically pokemon scarlet and violet we'll see you in the next one why didn't they have this song it takes two, baby. It takes two, baby. Me and you.